So today we're interfacing a Raspberry Pi with the SIM5320 GSM and GPS module. So our setup from left to right is a cell phone to test the connection, a Raspberry Pi 3A Plus that actually has a hat on it for breaking out the pins. We're not going to use it, but I'm too lazy to remove it. The GSM module is going to need a full-size SIM. The carrier is going to remain nameless because they're going to remain nameless. We have our jam box. This is going to function as the speaker phone when it connects to the GSM module. Wireless keyboard. The actual GSM module. A spare USB cable to talk to the GPS on board. And then a powered hub because the Raspberry Pi 3A does not have more than one USB port. Okay, let's talk about the features of this 5230. You can see the SIM card fits on the bottom, full-size SIM. The 40-pin GPIO connector is right here. On the flip side, we have the cell connector, the GPS connector. Both of these cables ship with the unit. We have the connection for the USB port. We have the power cable. We have the audio jack and mic jack. And lastly, we have the on off switch. Don't forget this because if you don't push it, it's not going to work. So here we are with the unit wired up. Now what we've got is the green USB cable is plugged into the external USB port on the 5230. There is a power connector going to one power supply. The Raspberry Pi 3A has its own power supply, but keep this in mind, a powered hub will try to supply power to all units across the USB port with sometimes disastrous results. The best thing to do is plug in power to the Pi first, plug in power to the GSM module, then attach the USB cable. It will see your peripherals and be ready to boot. Now, over here, I had to exit out and come back in, but I'm just showing you that if the port's already open, you try to open it again, it's going to close. So to close the port, we do the AT plus CGPS equals zero, and it stops the output in the other window. So we'll start it up again, AT plus CGPS equals one, and the GPS data should start going again. So now what we've got is a device is connected to the carrier and it's ready to go. So let's dial a number. So we preference that with ATD, the telephone number followed by a semicolon. We hit enter. And you're going to see and I'm going to turn the modem off, tell it to hang up. So in about 30 seconds, I'm going to get a note from my carrier saying that that call cost me 15 cents, I think. Ah, cost me a nickel. We try calling another number just to show you. Same thing, ATD, phone number, voice call begin. Over here, we still have not gotten our... GPS coordinates updated in that GPRMC area. Sometimes you have to move the cable. Sometimes it just takes a while to acquire a signal. 
And as soon as I set it, not two minutes later, it acquired a signal. So if you see the GPRMC values, if you're fast enough to freeze this, you get a general idea about where I am as I'm shooting this video. Anyway, you can see fairly easy connecting the SIM 5320 to a Raspberry Pi, making some calls, getting some GPS information. Thanks for watching.